What's going on guys, Lydia, and welcome back to another Borderlands the pre-sequel farming tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you guys uh, a pretty awesome loot and experience farm, but it's also a uh, kind of a guide on how to get the legendary weapon, the thingy, which is a rocket launcher. So um, yeah, if you're into that, then be sure to stick around to see how to get the thingy, but if you're not particularly fussed about getting the um, the weapon, then don't worry, it is actually a, a pretty awesome um, experience and loot farm as well. But um, yeah, so you want to go to Serenity's Waste, um, I just want to say to do this you're going to want to be around, I'd say the minimum level is 29, but after that the en enemy, the boss does actually scale with you, so after level 29 you're going to be pretty good, but if you go there at like level 6, because you do get access to Serenity's Waste like straight away, pretty much, um, but if you go there at like level 6 then you're just going to get wrecked by um, Iwajira who is the boss that you're going to be fighting, because he is a level 30. And then he scales with you. So um, yeah, I wouldn't just go in uh, any below like level twenty nine. Um, this boss is actually like pretty easy, but I kind of did bad this time because it was my second try doing it. So, but now that I've done it a bunch of times, like 15, 20 times, it's actually like super easy. But um, yeah, especially when you're a, uh, a higher level, like thirty two or thirty three, it's much easier. But yeah, so I showed you the route there. You just want to kind of go around in like a C. Um, it's actually like super simple, it literally is like just round and then you want to like boost on top of that rock at the end of the river. Um, when you get to the end of the river you want to get out of the vehicle because there's a glitch where it'll like not spawn. So you want to get out of the vehicle and then run the rest of the river, just get out where I got out. But yeah, so Irojira is a corrosive, we a corrosive weapon, a corrosive boss, so um, he will resist any corrosive weapons. His critical spot is the green inside of his mouth, it's not just his head, it is like specifically inside his mouth so if you want to do crit damage to him you want to like aim inside his mouth or like wait until he does that thing where he opens his mouth um he opens it to like shoot a laser and he also opens it to like fire these rock things so um yeah as you can see i did pretty awful this fight i went down and I ran out of ammo so this is pretty bad but make sure you just like fully ammoed up with your shotgun or whatever weapon you end up using and um try not to die as well that's always kind of good but um, yeah, so you just want to shoot inside his mouth to get a little crit damage, um, make sure you use a, I'd suggest using a fire weapon, and that'll do more damage to him, uh, specifically a shotgun works for me when I was shooting them in the mouth, but um, yeah. So as you can see, his loot went everywhere, most of his loot will drop where he died naturally, but um, obviously it will do that, but you've got to remember that the loot goes all over the arena, like, I mean, completely all over. Some of it will go in the lava, but that's fine because you're not going to like insta-die from it, you can't walk into it. Um, to get that as long as you're kind of relatively quick and don't hang around too long in the lava but um, yeah so here I got it here's the thingy it's a rocket launcher you can see his stats there uh, legendary worth quite a lot of money so um, that's how you get that what I've heard from it uh, is that I know I got it first try and second try but I didn't get it once after that so um, it, this would stick pretty well for me as well everyone says that you get it around every 1 in 10 goes I got it 2 in 20 so 1 in 10 sounds pretty good to me but, um, I mean, I don't know, my look was pretty random that I got it first try and second try and then never got it again. But, um, yeah, so you're probably going to get it around every 1 in 10 goes. So there's not any gameplay with it. Um, I actually recently restarted my game. Um, with I restarted it and I used the uh, uh, thingy to make a different weapon in the grinder. So I don't have my thingy anymore, but I'm too early in the game to be able to re-find this guy and fight him. So, um, unfortunately I can't do any gameplay with it, but yeah, that is how to get it if you want to do that. There's also a lot of loot and experience to get, so I'd suggest doing this even if you're not doing it just for the legendary. Um, as you can see, you get quite a lot of moonstones as well. But, um, yeah, one thing you want to do with a thingy if you want a really powerful submachine gun, if you get two thingies um, and any purple submachine gun and put them in a grinder, two thingies and a purple submachine gun will make a weapon called the IVF which is insanely powerful and it's a really good submachine gun so um, yeah that's what I did with them but um, yeah so that's how to farm the, the legendary gun thingy that's also how to farm Iwajira so if you did like this video be sure to leave a like if you loved it be sure to leave a favourite um, likes really do help me out more than you can imagine so if you do want to do that I would really appreciate it subscribe for more Borderlands the pre-sequel content and content like Skyrim and Fallout New Vegas but um, yeah so I will see you all next time guys so hope you enjoyed the video and um Good luck farming. Peace off.